Okay, so, right now, I'm doing a, um, how to note percussion on staff when you write music. What is what, and where does it go? So, first I'm going to do drums, where drums go, and what they do. So, I uh, will, what they do, they make sound. Where drums go on the staff. So, your high rack tom is going to go on the first, on the top line on the staff, first line, and the stem's going to go down. And then the high mid rack tom is going to go in the middle of the first and second line, stem's going to be down. Your low mid rack tom is going to be on the, on the second line, and the stem's going to be up. The snare drum is going to be in the middle of the second and third line, and the stem's up. The low rack tom is going to be on the third line, and the stem's down. The high rack tom is going to be in the middle of the third and fourth line, and the stem's going to be up. The low floor tom... Wait, the last one was high floor tom, not high rack tom. I don't know what I said. And the low floor tom is going to be on the fourth line, stems up. Your bass drum is going to be on the... Wait. In between the fourth and fifth line, and the stems up. And your second bass drum, if you have two bass drums, uh, is going to be on the sixth line down, which, you know, you just draw another line. People do that all the time. Draw another line, draw on that line. So on the sixth line going down. There's only five in the staff, so you draw another line. Yeah, I don't know how to put that. I'm not really good at... I don't know how to say that. But, uh... Symbols is what I'm doing now. So, a close hi-hat is going to be an X on top of the first line. Like, right over the first line. And the hi-hat pedal is going to be an X right under the fifth line. So... And it's going to have a stem. And an open hi-hat... This is weird is a diamond shape that's shaded in on the top line the same line, like right over the top line and it's going to have a stem going down and your ride is an X right on the first line like there's an X and the line's going through it and the crash is going to be like the second bass drum is going to be a line higher like a note higher and there's going to be a line through it, an X with a line through it, a line higher. Uh, and the splash is going to be, you're going to take the first line, and then draw another line on it, and then draw the splash with it, draw an X over that line. And then your China symbol is going to be, there's the first line, draw a line over that, and then a line over that, and there's going to be an X through that line, that second line, and the stems down. And a choked crash is the same note as a crash, but there's a little dot on top. Put a little dot right on top of it. And a ride bell is an X. Wait. No, it is just an X with a circle around it. The same place where a hi-hat, a uh, close hi-hat would be. It's an X but there's a circle around it and a stem going up. So accessories and effects. The next section. And a tambourine would be an up facing triangle on the third line with a stem in the middle going straight down. And a low tuned wood block well you can't tune a wood block. A low octave wood block would be a triangle on the second line, same line as a snare. Same place as a snare, but it's a up facing triangle in between the second and third line with a stem on the left side going down and a snare side stick would be the same note as a snare but there's a line going through it a high tuned wood block would be an up facing triangle on the second line so and then a uh, stem to the left side going down and a cowbell would be all in the middle of the first and second line an up facing triangle and a line going down. Uh, uh, the stem is on the left side going down. That's all I got. See, look, this is my chart that I made from pictures on Google, and I hope it's correct. If it's not, comment tell me about it. Like this video, leave a comment, subscribe. Like me on Facebook, Hanger63. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter, Hanger63. Bye, guys. See ya.